Frostrup is here in the studio. It's absolutely lovely to see you. Just talking Very about much. the cat set amongst the pigeons when Mariella said, why shouldn't women be allowed to ogle men in the same way that men ogle women? Well, I think, I think that, the, the, I mean, you know, first of all, I was extremely surprised at the enormous reaction it provoked because I thought I wasn't really saying anything that controversial, only that Aidan Turner was quite attractive mm. and he was definitely a large element of why I tune into Poldark. But as I was writing it, I suddenly realised what a terrible double standard it was and that if I was a man writing that piece, that I would have felt very, very uncomfortable and I'm sure would have been subject to an enormous amount of censure. So. I was really just playfully okay. thinking about the, 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 the I... fact that there is a sort of slight sense of discomfort as okay. a woman, and that, get... that things have shifted in a way mm. and, and that we've prov provoked a situation where, you know, things like Me Too are incredibly important mm. and that's why it's really important that we don't trivialise them by turning them into okay. discussions about bikinis and what's hot or not. Is it well, not? Can I, hang on, can I just ask my question? Because it's been taken is, by Mr it, 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 There is a double standard, though. There is. And the reason there's a double standard is because when women are objectified by men, that can have more serious consequences oh, absolutely. for women well, when that... it comes to harassment or assault. Well, you don't need to convince me of that, Susanna. No, but that's the. I think. But I think you need to sometimes convince the men but, of that because I... we understand it as women. But men don't get it, or but, some men don't. Well, no, I think that's absolutely true. And I think that there's an awful lot of um, discussion. I was thinking the other day that maybe we need sort of truth and reconciliation between the sexes because of the seismic changes that have happened in the last hundred years. You look at the millennia before when women were just powerless and mm. without any, you know, chance of it being involved in their destiny in any shape or form other than raising families and, and breeding children. Mm. And if you look at what's happened in the last hundred years, how much that change uh, has has you know, now invested itself in society. And I think everyone's confused. Every time you, know, you have a monster uh, in the shape of someone like Harvey mm. Weinstein, it's almost like the whole of mankind, uh, and I mean yeah. men, are, are you know, judged by the, in, in the same way. Mm. And I think that's partly men's fault because they don't speak out and they don't set themselves apart from the very small minority of men who treat but women you, appallingly you touched, badly. But Marilyn, you touched on this confusion and the double standard, which I think was an important thing to raise. I think there is a lot of confusion, a lot of double standards going on. On Miss America, though, there's a fundamental thing there where one of the world's most famous beauty pageants which for 100 years has judged women no, as beautiful women. It's, it's rebranding, that's all, Piers. Why is <laughs> judging beautiful women for beauty? Why is that a problem? Well, I think that you'll find that because of the centuries and millennia of, you know, disempowerment that women have suffered and the fact that they've been objectified and because, you know, the incidence of rape and domestic violence, one in five women in the world will be raped in their lifetime, one in four women in the world will suffer domestic violence, mm. that the objectification of women has far more serious consequences and because we're not yet in a society where women have power, mm. they can't. As when it comes to the Formula One uh, grid girls, when it comes to the boxing ring girls, the snooker girls and so on, who are all doing their job because they like actually showing off their beauty and they like being paid for do it. Do they? Or, or perhaps they think that that's well, the thing that they can no make money out them, of because... No one's forced them to do that job. And we've had them on here all saying they enjoyed their work. They enjoyed actually being but, objective. But, but do you not see that there's a difference? I absolutely... Look, my whole a, a, a column that you were talking mm. about was about the fact that we should be able to express gratitude and, 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 and enjoyment right. for the glory of the human body. But you've also got to look at the culture in which... I mean, if, if your daughter grows up mm. to only be judged on the basis of what her physical attributes are, surely you will be very upset my you daughter, still live in a world If my daughter possible. grew up to be the next Cindy Crawford, I'd be thrilled. Well, Cindy Crawford is a different match. She's a businesswoman and she's, she's made a, a remarkable she's a career. Do we now she abandon, started as a model. Do we now get rid of models? No, but I mean, I'm not, I'm, not, I, I'm not advocating. I'm actually advocating for the fact that we should be able to appreciate people's beauty, but we have to put it in context. Right. And, and we, we have to look at the wider culture. Mm. And what we really need is men like the Qatar Airways yes, man but I'll not you saying in... things like that I will about join women. You in or, that fight. or the conversation that's happened this week about women on boards. And, you know, it's just all challenging for them. Why would they want to? And, you know, we've used up all the good yeah. women already. Right. Uh, all utter why do we need nonsense. Any more? Yeah, you know? I agree with that, but I don't think that 
you can have women on the one hand saying, we find objectification so offensive it has to all be abandoned. But on the other hand, we're prepared to objectify men like Aidan Turner, not like the men's vulnerable. review group, but, but I'm simply not because of some that. spurious I'm argument about, that. well, they don't get attacked I'm saying that, that, that they're that, that objectification, that, 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 that looking at the human form and marvelling at it is a completely different thing from, uh, you know, the, the, the powerlessness and the problems that women have and okay. still continue to have. We